Hey folks, welcome to Two Minutes Pi. Today, we're unraveling the mystery of init.py in Python, a little file that does big things. Let's get straight to it without any tech jargon. What is init.py? Let's say you have a directory with a bunch of Python files and you want to treat it as a package. Just drop an init.py file inside and boom, Python recognizes that directory as a package. It's like a secret handshake between your code and Python. Now, what's inside this init.py file? It can be as simple as an empty file, or you can include some initialization code if you have special setup needs. But most of the time, an empty init.py is just fine. Think of init.py as the package's way of saying, I'm ready to be used. When someone else wants to use your package, they import it in their code, and Python knows to look for that magical init.py. Without init.py, Python wouldn't recognize your directory as a package and you wouldn't be able to import modules from it using the standard import statement. How does this init.py help in creating packages? Init.py allows you to organize your code into modular chunks, making it easier to manage and reuse. Think of it as a blueprint for your package. You can define common functions, variables, or even import other modules within init.py, setting up the foundation for your package's functionality. Let's create a simple package called my underscore package to illustrate how init.py works. Inside the my underscore package directory, create an empty file called init.py. Now, create another file called greetings.py and write a function called say underscore hello that prints hello world. Now, from any file outside the my underscore package directory, you can import the greetings module and use the say underscore hello function. This will print hello world because init.py makes the greetings module accessible from within the my underscore package namespace. Init.py is a fundamental building block for creating structured and organized Python packages. It's like the invisible glue that holds your code together, making it easier to manage, reuse, and share. So, in simple terms, init.py is like the starting line for your Python project. Thanks for tuning in. That's all for now. And as always, keep coding.